happy new year everybody welcome back to another youtube video my name is lillian and i am back again with another reaction video so just in case you are wondering oh why 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 it has nothing to do with the person that makes the video but it has everything to do with the video you made not about who made the video so when i'm reacting it has nothing like is not coming from a good or bad place it is coming from a neutral ground so because i stumbled on this particular one again on the front page of youtube and i clicked on it because of the title uh, the title like <sighs> on clicking i realized that her intonation gives her away she's a nigerian i thought the person is a ghanaian and saying her opinion about her people i was going to watch learn and move but now this person is a nigerian speaking about other people ghanaians and how she feel about that particular topic about ghanaian women so i said i will not let this video slide talk about everything in this video please i'm not instigating hate against anyone i am giving my own buyer opinion on this video but first let's take a look at some of the clips from the video and i will be back to give my opinion don't forget to like this video if you have not because i'll be reading the comments anyway so why ghana has more of baby mamas than nigeria ghana has more of single mothers than nigeria okay let me use the word single mothers and not baby mamas yeah ghana has more of single mothers than nigeria so when i first came to ghana i discovered that ghana has a lot of single mothers you know you see young girls carrying kids you think the kids belong to their elder sister or something but you know the kids actually belongs to them ghana has more of single mothers than nigeria and this keep on going i think i don't know if it's part of the culture i don't know because if i'm wrong someone should just try to put me through is it really uh, a culture or it's just a mere mistake because most ghanian like 95 percent of ghanian ladies they all have uh they all have kids before getting married okay they have kids before getting married but in nigeria it's not like that it's not the same it's not really like that like it's a taboo when a nigerian lady gets pregnant before moving or before getting married it's actually a taboo it's seen as as a taboo okay because the video is few minutes long and i don't want to play it like that so i'm going to analyze it bit by bit and i'm starting from here where she said <laughs> and when she first got here even a little child you see a child with a baby you think the child belongs to the the sister of that person carrying the child that young girl carrying the child but at the end of the day you find out that that is the actual mother of the baby and she went on to say that in her place in her country which is nigeria when me say from all is not is a taboo to have a child outside of wedlock and this brings me back to the fact that i have always said it here good or bad when you want to talk about nigeria represent your place and the part of nigeria you are from and where that is practiced for better understanding because when you say in nigeria is a taboo like because i am also a nigerian and anybody that is already an adult enough to open her legs to have anything to do with a man even when you are not supposed to it simply means whatever consequences that come out of that action is not a taboo yes if that action is not a taboo then if that action is not considered as a taboo then the consequences of that action should never be and it will never be and it's not a taboo in my own part of nigeria and this is why I keep on saying that when you want to talk about Nancha, don't generalize. Because the time I will have to address issues from a particular part of Nigeria. You are not the only people that are Nigerians. Other people too are and they have their culture. So which one is, is a taboo? I come from Nigeria too and it's not a taboo to have a child. Married or single. If you can open your leg to exercise that thing that married people do and then you, as a result of it, you end up with a child. It's not a taboo. So you should have said in, in your place, uh -huh, your own part of Nigeria is a taboo. It's better that way than to say uh, in Nigeria that you're coming to represent Nigeria with that. 
no don't represent it's not all the time i'll be claiming good things about my people we actually do some things that i wish we don't do but we are not harming anyone which is cool like having a child outside of wedlock but which one is a taboo inside it's not a taboo when you want to talk about your uh, nigeria always always remember that we have more other tribes in nigeria you're not the only one you're not the only one except if you're talking about the nigerian police or the nigerian education uh, the president the, the only thing in nigeria that we all have in common and we share that undisputedly if you want to talk about the president of nigeria yes you can represent everybody you talk about the nigerian education yes counts me in you want to talk about the nigerian police yes you are right you want to talk about the nigerian electricity yes you are in but when you want to talk about the cultures in nigeria then be specific with it so we will know where you stand back at home we do that and it's not something i personally encourage but we do it so fine let's move to the next topic i'm wrong someone should just try to put me through is it really uh, a culture or it's just a mere mistake because this lady said that she wants clarification and towards the end of the video i realized that she was trying to make she was trying to pass a message which is not a bad one even though i don't completely agree or disagree with it she was trying to pass a message but you starting off with starting your message with this 95 percent of Ghanaian end up with kids before getting married is very disrespectful it's very very disrespectful please don't go hating this person okay hate is never going to come from me but i just want to correct it for those that are already hurt those that are angry or oh, why will you say that she does not in any way represent all nigerians she's talking about her culture but it hurts that she didn't specify if it's a good thing now she would have just specified it but she did not specify and because she said she need clarification i am going to help clarify some things that i know about single motherhood in ghana and in nigeria and why you think that ghanaian women have kids outside of wedlock more than nigerian women simple fact is because we in nigeria due to societal pressure and the disrespect for women that is why every woman you see in nigeria does not have kids including the one that has children it is very common to see some nigerians especially from those places on Aditose, from these places that is a taboo to have a child hiding a child that they already have so that the society will not judge them based on that child that is why you think they are higher in ghana than in nigeria another factor is as a nigerian woman you can actually have a child and lie that you don't have a child just so that the society will not come at you which i understand a lot of people do it because women are hated and especially if you are a single mother a lot of people will hate you so much they will hate you and they cannot stand you they are wondering why the heck you leave men hate you and your fellow women too will hate you that one thing is i am yet to understand why that is but i've not taken time to study because i don't care like i see people do that a lot so a lot of women would rather just don't have kids even when they have kids they will just deny these kids and just go on to the society and lie that they do not have kids but in ghana a mother no matter how young rich poor or so well to do or lack of support that she has she will stick to her child because anything that you have opened your leg to do she will stick to that child she will be responsible to her child and take care of her child so the judgment in nigeria is the reason why you think all these women you are seeing in nigeria do not have kids a lot of them actually do and a lot of people have an abortion they will just offer abortion quick quick to get rid of it to be free from the societal discrimination that is because you ask for clarification to get it so here women are proudly living their lives as it is you have a child uh -huh. even though your family is not happy about it but they will not hate on you because you are nurturing a child so in nigeria let me tell you another reason a woman in a nigerian woman will abandon her child to go and get married because that is the achievement of every almost all of them especially if these people especially the part of nigeria that made it a taboo to have a child out of wedlock these people who abandoned their child to go get married 
they will hide this child because they must get married they must get married and when they end up getting married in call Shebi, you want us to talk now clarity i think you need clarity abi i am here to clarify you when they end up getting married the, the ones that even agreed they have kids by the end of the day they will go bring the child to come and live with them and their husbands some of the men will start to molest these girls and guess what the mothers normally do i have this post on my instagram or in case you want us to banter i will go there and get it so some of them the mothers will be advised to throw these girls to to throw their kids out of the house so that they can maintain their marriage because as a nigerian woman you are raised trained and prepared for nothing but marriage oriaku oriaku you are prepared raised and ready prepared for what marriage any other thing outside of marriage is you going against the society and that is why it looks like they don't have kids they don't have kids they want to have kids and they are public about it what do you do to them you stone them you hate them you find no good in them you look at them like they are polluting the society they are you find them to be a problem it's expected that the moment the man who ejaculates in them abandon them with that kids they are supposed to do same and at the end of the day what do we get we end up raising kids that kids that are out there feeling aggressive and abusive towards other people in the society why do you think is the cause for that this is because you're asking for clarification you normally if you didn't ask i will not go into this part of the video but let's keep going you say 95 percent of people end up as single mother for me i am a single mother and the worst part for me is that i am a combination of an ex-wife and a baby mama hallelujah clap for yourself in fact who will even listen to you to explain you're a single mother is a single mother right so a lot of the times that is why you see our women will stay back in a marriage and die in that marriage because the consequences of being a single mother means <laughs> make her clarify should i okay let's keep clarifying the consequences of being a single mother in nigeria is equals to you rather die in an abusive marriage to stay married than for you to leave an abusive marriage to be safe and be alive for your kids is because we Nigerian women, we are selfish. Especially the part that is a taboo to them. They are very selfish in this aspect. Very, very selfish. The kids, as a child, you should just go out there and struggle on your own. Sort yourself out because your mother has a job to do and that job is to be married. Whether to stay married or go look for who will marry her because she is a disgrace and a disappointment in the society no one will support you here yeah, people cannot throw away their their kids because they have a child yeah with all these things that we do right and they don't do right you can see we are enjoying the peace here with all this type of children that there is yet in all of this you will never see a child that is abusive towards women all these children that they born outside to wet local they will all grow up right and not abuse any woman hardly you hear of rape so don't you think it's time we look at it like that you take it go tell the people that culture that particular part of nigeria that is in the habit of particular part of nigeria that is in the habit of making that a taboo making a child a taboo Hey, because it has to be a child has it's only a man that has the right to own a child in nigeria right that is the point this is me still clarifying i think i should go on and on and on and on to clarify next time you have issues like this i think you should ask your Ghanaian neighbor since you say you live in ghana ask your neighbor around it just ask her why are you people burning anyhow let her respond to you rather than come on the internet because some of us will see it and we will clarify it and i don't mean harm because i don't care when i see these videos i will clarify mm? so the reason we don't do single mother in nigeria even though we are single mothers me i was raised by a single mother not because she's a prostitute to get it mm -mm. my mom was a good girl but 
the society because the man has right to leave his wife and just do whatever he likes if the man leaves you with children they will still ask you why did he leave you it's because of your bad character so the best thing to do in order not to look like a bad woman is to also shift from these kids abandon them if the man tells you he don't want the kids you are free to send them away isn't it so that you can be look you can look nice in the eyes of the society taboo my feet I me mean, i should name people from the part of nigeria that is a taboo to that they have kids outside of wedlock and their parents are plus it i should name them should i name it it's because when they have kids for the rich men their parents are happy because it's all about the money if you want to represent nigeria do it do with all due respect otherwise when you bring your opinion here we will analyze it and at the end of the day you're not going to be happy because you cannot come and represent me it's not by force say my part of nigeria is a taboo for us to have kids outside of wedlock but even in that taboo you people are still doing it you people are still doing it you're still having kids and further into the video she said because in a place she said she went for christmas but she didn't tell us where the christmas is so is it in the same nigeria or your part of nigeria and then she sees elderly women with no kids ah they should have half kids they should have half kids instead of them to grow old without kids then you know husband no kid they should have born the same society you can see how contradictive the society towards women there's always something you didn't do right as a woman you should have done this and if you opt to do it, they will hate you for it. I, being a single mom, I, my part of Nigeria, there is nothing. There is no biggie. There is no biggie. Because when a man climbs you or you climb a man and it results to a child, it simply means that you are ready for responsibility. And all you have to do is to keep with it. Take, be, take it. Once, once you have an affair with a man that is not married to you and it results to pregnancy, the next thing you're supposed to do is to take responsibility for your actions. And that is why I refuse to abandon my younger sister when she made that mistake. She was in the university already when she got pregnant for her boyfriend and she tried low key to abort it. She was almost dying. But because those kids came to stay, she could not she didn't succeed she could not abort so when the whole thing came to light my family was divided into two they just want her to suffer they want to make sure she suffer but i said no she's only a child she made a mistake i brought her to ghana she gave birth and she have her two boys this same society will, will criticize her if she abort these kids and then tomorrow she can't give birth they will still come and say hey you should born now huh? just like you are saying those women these elderly women in the place you went for christmas see that if we can actually adopt this uh ghanian culture ghana culture or something i don't really know if it's their culture so that's why i'm asking i discovered that a lot of women in their old age that's a lot of them are, are so childless. Like I saw, I saw one in her um, 60s, the other one 70s. Even I saw an 82-year-old woman who is supposed to be a great grandmother, but she's childless. You know. So that was when I began to ask myself some questions. You know, can we just, can we just? Can we just change our mindsets, okay? Please, ladies and gentlemen, for me, in my own opinion, I think when you, you waited for the right person to come and she or he... They should have given birth. What do people want? Allow people to do them. So when you say uh, there are more single mothers in, in Ghana, is it not true? It is because here they take responsibility for their actions. So maybe we Nigerian women, we should do the same. We will abandon our kids, so we must marry. It's all about the man. Then we will all detain the man, all the pain the men inflicts in us as women. We will pass it on to the kids and they will grow up becoming all sort of people, bitter and angry and desperate to make it. This is because you ask for clarity. 
because you asked me for clarity. So focus on what is important. I think, I don't know if children are more important than marriage. I'm not here for that. I'm not here to give that. Um, it's not a topic I care about because I don't care. Do you understand? Because my mother raised me as human. My mother didn't tell me, eh, I must marry her. This is it. She gave me her time. I'm giving my mom back the time she gave to me when I was a kid. She could actually have abandoned me if she wanted, but she did not. She stick by me and my siblings. The person that abandoned me when I was a baby, I have also abandoned him. He's my father. If you not like, cry me a river. You see that man? He's not, he's not my father. He's the one that donated spam to make me. To get it? Because when he was supposed to be with me, be for me, he chose... When he was supposed to be there for me, he was after he was he was running after women, other women outside, and he abandoned me. And then when these women grow old and he realized that they are no longer good, he changed them. He changed them like rapper. So now now go and say, hey, my father, I need regardless. I'm not that type. I don't support bad behavior. He did not support me financially, emotionally, physically. My mother had to go through this, you people's definition of indecent woman to raise me and my siblings because a man abandoned her with the kids. Everything boils down to the fact that we do not respect our women based on them, except there is a man attached to a woman. It's because they take responsibility for their children, but we don't. We would rather die for a man. As a Nigerian woman, what defines you is a man. What defines you is a man, not your child. So why are we complaining? Allow these ones that didn't born. And besides, my sister, life is not all about children. No. Some of those elderly women, those aged women you see, is their choice not to have kids. They just don't want the stress. New is easy for you, at least. You have a husband. You have kids. And I could see kids in the video. I could see kids in the video running around the house. Congrats to you. Yeah, but... It's not everybody that wants that to get it. So you don't tell people what to do. Even if you want to say it, say it without being disrespectful. Later, your people will come and make video and say, eh, what she wanted to say is she wanted to pass a message. Uh -huh. You can pass your message without at any point try to be disrespectful towards other people. And this is where I end my case. I will see you guys in another video. Bye.